Rehabilitation therapy is a discipline that is not widespread in the country, with very little information and centers offering quality services in Kenya. More often than not, patients who have suffered major illnesses like stroke, injury, or even surgery are left to go about their life wholly dependent on people around them. This, however, should not be the case. <laughs> Meet Sam Mawio, who two years ago suffered a stroke. The condition affected his speech and balance. I was not able to walk without a stick. So I needed to walk with the help of a stick. And uh, it was found out my balance was off completely. And so this place has been correctional in helping me to regain my balance. Sam, however, decided to seek rehabilitation therapy three months ago. He was initially put on a three-day, two-hour week program. The doctor knows exactly which muscle is being worked on. And because of that, I can now walk without any problem. Three months down the line, his therapy has been reduced to two days, two hour program. I would say it's been good. <clears throat> I no longer do physiotherapy. I only come here as to a gym. And his progress is remarkable. Jane is yet another patient at this facility. She suffered a stroke that left her dependent on her kin. She has also been enrolled in a four days a week, three hour program. Slowly but steadily, she's also gaining her mobility. These cases paint a picture of what can be possible through rehabilitation therapy. Jane Wambua, the proprietor and physiotherapist at the Restore Rehabilitation Center, says there's a major knowledge gap in Kenya as far as rehabilitation therapy is concerned. Uh, our patients actually do not know, uh, in terms of physiotherapy, what we are capable of helping them to do. So, as you said, when somebody says they are going to recuperate, and you go home and your recuperation requires rehabilitation and don't have it, actually what happens is your blood pressure may settle down because that may be what caused you to have a stroke. But your impairments, your issues with strength may not be resolved. Uh, we're trying to train and, and to tell the public exactly what physios do because there's a big misunderstanding that what we do is massage and a little bit of stretching uh, without knowing that Rehabilitation is a science by itself. Success of treatment, Wambua says, lies on timely and professional care. They actually need to be in a setting that emphasizes on that. And our emphasis in Restore here is timely, uh, high-intensity evidence-based. It's a multidisciplinary type of a setup where we draw in different disciplines depending on the patient. So patients will come in. We'll do an assessment to see exactly what is their diagnosis, what is their problem. Uh, and then we are able to see who is really required in the team. The center offers inpatient rehabilitation, which Wambua says is necessary in some cases and helps reduce the burden of families with such patients. If somebody gets a stroke in a family, you find it's not just that patient who has a stroke, it's like the whole family is affected. Someone's going to be home bathing, others. Uh, walking with them. So it's quite a burden. And if they are not rehabilitated on time and the right type of rehabilitation, this person then becomes disabled. Well, we could actually have seen this patient and gotten them back to society, gotten back to their vocation. The cost of rehabilitation in the country is expensive, and the few who can afford it opt to go abroad for therapy. And since this discipline is more developed abroad, they are able to make full recovery or at the very least be less dependent. This center, however, makes the road to recovery that much closer. Caroline Kamara reporting for Channel One News R.